The federal government is calling on the opposition to support its proposed changes to the Canada Emergency Benefit Response Program. A bill to rework the program is set to be tabled this afternoon. I'm calling on the other parties to set politics aside and allow the some point help for Canes to be debated and voted on. People are counting on us. Let's get this done together. CTV's Michelle Boyer joins us from Ottawa with more on this. We just heard from House Leader Rodriguez saying it's, this is not about politics, but in a way, Michelle, it's a minority government, it's all about politics. It's all about politics indeed, Bev, and we're seeing the ugliness of politics right now. And, you know, let's just come out and say the NDP, they don't like certain things that are in this bill, particularly when it comes to going after fraudsters or people who are accused of fraud. Uh, for abusing the CERB program, uh, the wage subsidy program as well. It comes with some stiff penalties. We're talking about uh, double the amount that they claim, uh, even prison time possibly for some companies, uh, six, month in, six months in jail, uh, and additional fines as well. So that's just some of what's in this bill. There's, but there's also uh, money for disabled Canadians. There are changes to uh, statutory law that are necessary for bankruptcies. So there's a whole gamut of things, but the Conservatives say this is an omnibus bill uh, that needs to be broken up. We heard the same thing from Yves-Francois Blanchet, and we also heard that Parliament needs to be back in full force to debate this so it can go through committees, so it can be examined. That's something that we have heard, by the way, from the Tories uh, for a number of, uh, well, I would say now about a month that it's time for Parliament to come back in full force. Yves-Francois Blanchet, though, saying that the Liberals don't, don't re realize that they're in a minority situation. Take a look. The most poisonous spill of all of that is the government trying stubbornly to act as if there were not 338 people having been elected last October and doing as if it was a majority government uh, led by some kind of a prince, which is not the case. We have been elected, 32 of us. We have ideas, and for a long time, they tended to agree with our, idea, with our ideas and, and implement them. And everything seemed to be working much better back then. Yeah, and, and interesting, because Blanchett also went on to say that if it was about the disability benefit part of the bill, if that was the only part of the bill, then he said that, you know, he'd yeah. support that in a heartbeat, that it would it, that it would pass. So, but we also heard, again, from the bloc leader and the NDP leader in um, the COVID-19 meeting in the House uh, last hour. That's right, we did. And there's more pushback on the Liberals. But, you know, I found it really interesting why Andrew Scheer wouldn't talk about his desire for Parliament uh, to come back in full force. I felt like there was a lot more talk about the Auditor General. Sorry, I didn't count, I didn't count time, per se, but I felt like that was uh, a one message that he was driving down time and time again. Uh, there's something, something is going on here. Uh, I, perhaps it's Andrew Scheer who doesn't want to appear like he is opposing this bill, going after fraudsters, going after uh, people who have abused the system. So, you know, my guess is that, what, we're an hour and a half away, more or less, from when this is all supposed to start in the House. If they don't get unanimous consent on the ground rules, then this really doesn't go anywhere. They're probably going to continue these conversations behind closed doors until they can come to some sort of agreement. Maybe that agreement looks like bringing in more people into the House of Commons, a different way of voting. Uh, breaking up the bill, a whole lot of options. Uh, but you know what? Politicians don't want to, I guess you could say, air their dirty laundry out in the public right now. Not quite yet, anyways. Yeah, well, as it, as it seems, obviously, they're not getting, the Liberals don't get their support of the Bloc or the NDP, as far no. as we know right now. And maybe, maybe the Conservatives will have to see what happens at 2.30, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you.